We don't always have ambassadors to countries these days, but when we do, they put their foot in their mouth. So this is an amazing moment from our ambassador to the Netherlands, Pete Hoekstra. He took the job on December 11th. He did an interview when he was asked to explain some of his statements about Islam in the Netherlands and whether there were no go areas of the country. And he gave a weird response calling it fake news. The video put together from the news organization in the Netherlands that he was doing the interview with just is, is so crazy priceless. Let's take a look. Speaking of threat, at one point you mentioned in a uh, debate that there are no go zones in the Netherlands and that cars and politicians are being set on fire in the Netherlands. I didn't say that. That, that, that is actually an incorrect statement. Um, yeah. yeah, we would call it fake news. Is that uh, I never said that. Because it's what but, you but I, said. No, it's not what I said. The Islamic movement has now gotten to a point where they have put Europe into chaos. Chaos in the Netherlands, there are cars uh, being burned, there are politicians that are being burned. And yes, there are no go zones in the Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. So good. And it gets even weirder. They press him like, did so we have called you out for saying it's fake news. And then we proved it wasn't fake news. They follow up on his having just called it fake news. Here's his response to that. And look, please, at the interviewer when he hears the response. You call it uh, fake news. Obviously, I didn't call that fake news. I didn't use the word this today. No? No. Okay. I don't think I did. Okay, I think. <laughs> God, <laughs> he looks like. Can we roll the tape immediately? Yeah. Is that possible? Right. So <laughs> Am I the one who took the crazy pill? Here? Right. We don't have enough <laughs> playback machines for this thing. Right. Right. So good. But you know, I, I mean, this is the post-truth world. This is this is exactly what they're talking about, where you just keep on lying, no matter what. Like, but you just said fake news. No, I didn't. But you're on tape saying it. we just play it back. No, you can't. <laughs> uh, you, you said the cars and politicians were burning. No, I didn't. Yeah. Cars and politicians were burning. No, it's wrong. Yeah, that was like, a- what, what do you do? But that's exactly like our overall macro dilemma here in America and, and now it's spreading to the rest of the world. What do you do when someone or a lot of people refuse to acknowledge reality? They just, no, they don't care about the truth. We, and I don't, that doesn't compute. Then we're talking different languages. And I literally don't know what to do with that. That is the, I'm so glad you mentioned this, because to me, this is a real serious issue. And, and one of the great things about TYT, and you got in that one tweet, is that uh, we try to uh, get all the facts in. And sometimes the facts are, are balanced in a way, meaning that our position isn't always the one that carries the day. In some moment, we try to say, well, we try to be fair to, you know, anyway, uh, overall then, that's the way dialogues pr- progress, right? That w- we have facts, they have facts, they examine our facts, we examine their facts, and then consensus is, is actually reached. Uh, but once you decide that your facts are the facts and I don't care about the other person's facts. In fact, I'll even deny my facts and the facts that and the fact that I've said what what my facts are. I mean, all of a sudden you're in crazy land, and now and, and that's where we are. And it just becomes identity politics, and that's what is being played out right there. That was Hoekstra saying, "My the people who support me don't care about the truth at all. So all this is irrelevant. You guys will have fun with it. It doesn't matter. They will they look at that and go, oh yeah, Hoekstra nailed it.'" There, yeah, there was a there's a great quote because Hoekstra was born in the Netherlands and his family emigrated to America. He was a build a wall, build a wall, <laughs> <laughs> build a build a dam, keep the keep the water out. That's what they do in the Netherlands. Or just uh, anyway, so he uh, moved out and he was a Republican senator for, or a Republican representative in Michigan for over a de- uh, for over a decade. And when asked what is it like. For for having an American um, ambassador to the Netherlands, who's actually from the Netherlands, one person said he's a Dutchman, but he's from uh, the Netherlands of the 50s because he has a a number of positions that are just out of place in the Netherlands now. He's against same-sex marriage, gay rights, abortion, the death penalty. Uh, He's for the death penalty, and he's against refugees and. And it's just not he's not a popular person there. It's it's strange. And that and like you're an ambassador. Standing up in front of their media and just saying fake news and lying like that is that is not a very you know diplomatic thing to be doing. But the reference of the fifties puts him in lockstep with where this country is now, right? The the ruling leadership of this country now is uh, 
old white guys who are making it 1950 again. That's exactly what's happening. And so he's perfectly in concert with the administration that he's serving. Yeah, the all the hats make America great again. Doesn't mean great for everyone. It means make America 1950 again. And the 1950s were, were great for some people. And they were terrible for some people. And that's exactly the 1950s they want to go back to. And Netherlands, bless their hearts, has advanced way past that. So when you throw this barbarian <laughs> into their mix, they're like, what is, yeah. what is this? I don't know what to do with this. Who's this time traveler? Right. And right. then here's my favorite part of this. Um, Hoekstra, when he was in Congress, served as the chair of the House Intelligence Committee. <laughs> <laughs> you just watched the video by the Young Turks, home of the revolution. If you'd like to get a lot more than that, get the full show by becoming a member. tytnetwork.com slash join.